What's up, YouTube people? How are y'all? Are y'all good? I feel like I need to butter y'all up so y'all won't be mad at me and cuss me out in the comments for being MIA for so long. But I am here today to give y'all a full update of what in the world I've had going on. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen a brief snippet of an update uh, that I posted about a week ago. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you can do so by following at jasmint underscore TV, or you can click on the IG link in the description box below. Now, on to this full update. So I'm just going to take this step by step and start from the beginning because there are quite a few new subscribers to this channel. Welcome. And there are also some people who have only seen a handful of videos and many people think that I am still in South Korea. And that is not the case. I taught in South Korea for one year, but I arrived back to the USA in South Carolina a little over five months ago um so i am no longer there for everyone who thinks that i am <laughs> so let's talk about that return okay let's talk about the adjustment i think it would be really cool to talk with people who taught or lived abroad for a certain amount of time and how it was coming back home for them, okay? I'm sure that people adjust differently. So I'm just gonna tell you the circumstances of my adjustment. You know, I was ready to come back home and there were things that I wanted to do when I got home. For example, I talked about starting a travel series when I got back. Y'all haven't seen a single thing about a travel series from me and that's because whenever I try to put pen to paper, I just couldn't get it to connect. Whenever I talked to my friends about ideas that I had, they would just poke holes in like my ideas, which I needed them to do because I saw that I didn't have it together. And it got to the point where I realized I was trying to force this thing to happen. And then creating topics for the videos. I felt like I was forcing things to happen because I just felt like, oh, I gotta get a video out this week. I gotta get a video out this week. And you know what? I'd rather put out quality content than just be putting something out every week just for the sake of it. And that's where the whole blog idea came from, the Jasmine TTV blog, because I thought if I write out my thoughts, then y'all couldn't see that I couldn't get myself together on camera. So. <sighs> then just trying to write stuff it, it just wasn't coming together I felt like I was forcing a lot of things to happen even with sweet Lou it didn't turn out quite like I expected so all these things were getting a little overwhelming and I checked out I checked out pretty hard <laughs> on y'all and um but I didn't check out in a way where I just curled up in my bed and cried I checked out and just chilled I started focusing on time with my family, focusing on time with my friends, and I started taking little trips. So in the past three months alone, I've been to Vegas, New Orleans, Pittsburgh, DC, NYC. And while I was there, I made sure I focused on just experiencing the little moments because usually my mind operates on what's next, what's next, gotta move on to the next and making sure that I'm always prepared for my next move to where I don't live in the moment, okay? So I wanna focus more on that. For example, you know, we were at the Grand Canyon and you know, everybody's taking pictures, that's great. You have your pictures, post them on Instagram, make a scrapbook, I don't care, do what you want. But at some point you gotta put the phone away and you just have to just take in all the scenery because that's not, there's nothing that you can get through a picture, you know? So I remember I just stood there, phone in my pocket, just looking, just making sure I soaked it all in, looked at a bird or two, like, <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> so that's kind of what I've been doing, just chilling and being on that whole K sera, sera stuff. Whatever will be, will be. So that brings me to my next point. Mind you that I said that I was trying things and they didn't turn out the way that I expected or I felt like I was forcing them to happen. Now there's one thing that I would want for people to take from these videos and people are gonna take what they want from whatever. It is what it is. If there was one thing I would want for them to take is to try something, okay? It might not turn out the way you expect. It could turn out better 
than what you'd expect. But you have to do it for yourself and you have to do it to find out what you like, what you don't like, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Especially if you have the opportunity to try something new because everybody doesn't have that opportunity. That truly is a blessing. So if you got that chance, to, tr if you have an opportunity to try something, man, if you don't take that, <laughs> please take it. And then ju you just never know what's going to come from it. And if you don't do as well as you like, now you know and you can go on to the next thing. And the other thing is to try for yourself. Other people's experiences aren't yours. People ask me, did I like Korea? Would I go back to Korea? Would I live in Korea again? And my answers are solely my opinion. Would I live in Korea again? I mean, I don't like to say never to things. I mean, there's some things I know I'd never do. For example, I know I'd never do crack, right? Okay, so if I had to put Korea on the scale next to crack, I put it like here, all right? Korea's in like my highly doubts that, should I thought I saw a bug. Um, Korea is in my highly doubt section. Like I highly doubt I'd live in Korea again. Um, I would go, but I highly doubt I'd live. You might be stronger than me. I was not strong enough to handle the Korean work culture. If you are, if you're flexible and can, you know, roll with the punches and just things that don't make sense to you, then you would do better than I did working and teaching in Korea. You know, it just wasn't for me. You know, people like different things. Hell, people love crack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, next point. All right, so now that I have refocused, recentered, I'm mentally charged, I feel good feel pretty darn good actually. It's time for a new journey. It's time to pack it all up again. And in less, in less than two weeks, uh, we, yes, I'm taking y'all with me. We are going to Poland. Okay, I'm excited. I hope y'all are excited. I don't know any Polish, so this is gonna be very, very interesting. I at least knew how to read the Korean alphabet and like knew few words. Um, but I actually looked up the word for hello in Polish, and I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, something in my eye. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking classes. Okay. So, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I look forward to sharing this journey with y'all. And, you know, if you tuned in to this channel to see all things career related, you know, there are still some career related videos on the channel those aren't going anywhere but things will start to be more centered around poland <laughs> okay if you have any questions or comments drop them in the comment section below if you can relate to anything in this video go ahead and share you know this is a sharing safe place or if you don't feel comfortable sharing it in the comment section you can send me a message on the jasmine ttv facebook page okay i answer quite a few questions there that is the best way to get in touch with me outside of YouTube. Some people send me messages on Instagram and I feel bad when I see them a week or two later. So Jasmine TTV Facebook page is the best way to get in touch with me outside of YouTube. And that is it for today. Thank y'all so much. To the new subscribers, once again, welcome to the channel. For my A1 day ones, thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Bye.